guys, it's Sabrina. So, um, I am back home. As you guys can see, I am not in my normal room. And I've been here since um, Saturday night, so it's been almost a week now since I've been home. And it's been five full days um, of MCAT studying, so I started Monday. And I wanted to make this video because of that. Also, um, I definitely have like the coolest tripod set up right now. I'm using a lamp and then I'm balancing it with like the center of mass with the camera and stuff on one side so I can say balanced. And I'm being a nerd because I just did MCAT physics and I'm only halfway through the book and I just started, I didn't just start, I started it Wednesday. And I've gone through two books already this past week, which is crazy. So I've been going really fast, and I have like eight weeks left to study, so I'm feeling pretty good. Like, I think I'm going to have enough time to like, get all the stuff down that I need to get down before the actual test. And um, I'm also really excited because physics is making more sense this time, which, what? Did I like understand? Did I somehow learn physics over the past semester? I don't know, but it's definitely making more sense. Maybe it's because this is the third time I'm reading that physics book. But, um,. Whenever I study for physics, I just get so frustrated and angry because, like, it's still, like, difficult for me. Like, I'll sit there and be like, I have no idea what this problem is asking me. Just give me a formula. I will plug it in for you, but I don't know what formula to use. And that is my major problem. So, um, I'm trying to get a little bit better on at it, and hopefully I will be good enough for the MCAT. We'll see. I don't think I can, like, learn physics like an S expert by then, but hopefully good enough for it. I wanted to make this video because it's been really hard studying during the summer and um, I've never taken summer classes before. I Well, I have taken summer classes before. Um, I did take like an English class, but it was pretty easy. It was four hours like every single day and it was kind of annoying, but it's definitely very different studying eight hours every single day during summer break compared to taking like a four hour summer class. And um, this is like, yeah, my first time kind of just like not having like a chill relaxed summer and um, I knew this was gonna happen like I mentally prepared myself for it but it's been five days and I already hate it so much so I kinda wanted to make this video to motivate myself and to motivate you guys out there um, who are also if you're working towards your future right now this summer or in the summer in the future or if you just like feel so down on yourself right now and need some motivation what has been getting me through like eight hours every single day is knowing that this is my future and this is now like this is my one summer my one like two months like it's not my one like I'm not I'm being maybe dramatic but if you think of it that way it's really good like it keeps you more motivated it's my one time to like prove myself and it's my one time to like do something for myself I guess and I need this MCAT score to get into med school I have everything else I think like I have the life experience I have like volunteer experience shadowing experience and stuff like that. I don't know about letters of rec. We'll see about that. <laughs> I was kind of really shy and didn't talk to my professors. So I'm struggling with finding letters of rec right now from like professors. I have some from like other people, but I don't know. Maybe I should be more social. Um, so I'm struggling with that right now. But other than that, I have everything. I just see my MCAT score. So um, when I think of it that way, I know how important it is right now. Like how important it is that I study and that I stay on track and that I do my eight hours every single day. And I don't like slack off when I'm studying, like I seriously focus hardcore study. So um, if you think of it that way, you feel more motivated, you also feel excited because this is your future, like you're helping yourself in the end, this is for you, and what you're doing now is going to pay off when you're a doctor or you're a lawyer or whatever you're studying for, you're going to be a dentist because we all have those fun tests, you know? So um, it'll all be worth it in the end, and that's what I keep thinking and that's how I'm pushing through to stay motivated. It's super hard because today my sister and my dad actually left for Romania and they're just going to like see family and have fun and be on vacation. I haven't seen my grandparents in two years now so I miss them a lot but I have to stay home and study and that was really hard knowing that she's going off to Romania to have so much fun and I'm staying home to study but once again I'm thinking this is my future and this is what I need to do right now um, and it'll pay off in the end you know. So um, just think of it that way. Um, you are doing it for yourself. It's not like you're doing it for someone else. So, um, you know, how you work right now is going to benefit you in the long run. And um, how I'm staying motivated with studying, um, how I've been studying too, is I've been doing four, um, eight hours every day. And what I do is I do four hours in the morning, four hours in the afternoon. I have a lunch break slash workout break. So I usually start at 8 a.m., um, 8, 8 to 8.30. 
I wake up at 7.30, I'll have breakfast, I'll go through my normal routine, and then I'll set an alarm on my phone. And my alarm says in four hours it's gonna ring. So from like 8 to like 12, I know I have to start, I have to like consistently be setting. Um, throughout those four hours, I don't check my phone. I put my phone in the other room because I'm obsessed with Instagram, with Snapchat, with Twitter, with Facebook, and I have a problem. So I know I need to keep it away from me. So I put it away. Um, then I go, like, if I need water, I'll take, like, a little mini water break and go get water. If I'm starving, I'll go get some food, drink, to eat some chocolate, you know, mentally helps me feel better. And then, um, those four hours in the morning go by so fast. It's insane. So by 12, I'm like, wow, it went by super fast. And I'll be studying, and how I'm studying is I'm actually, um, I'm reading every single one of the MCAT books over again, and I have the Princeton Review books and I'm taking notes as I'm reading. And I've noticed that when I take notes as I read, I understand it better, and then at the end of the day, I'll reread all of my notes so I can like make sure I have it ingrained in like my brain. I also have practice passages I do for each book that I've been reading, and that really helps too. The practice passages really help, because I notice that I need to do more practice to understand the problems better, and like the concepts better. So that's been helping. And then after my four hours are up, first I'll work out, and I'll usually work out for half an hour, and then I'll eat lunch, and I'll usually eat lunch for half an hour, an hour, so usually it's an hour to an hour and a half break. And I start around 1 to 1.30, and then from 1.30 until 5 to 5.30, um, whenever those four hours are up, um, I'm non-stop studying, but in the afternoon it is so much harder for me to study for some reason. I don't know if it's because I'm like tired, I'm lacking energy, um, it's the afternoon, and I just feel like in the morning you don't do much, in the afternoon you can be doing so much. But the afternoon is so hard for me. So today I finally finished at 5. I um, was so happy when I finally finished. And um, I was just, I'll do the same thing. I'll read and I'll take notes for the next like 4 hours, 3 to 4 hours. Um, usually at an hour before my time is up, I'll reread my, I'll take a break and reread my notes and then do practice passages for the last hour. So that's kind of like what my schedule has been like and it's been going really well so far because I've gone through a lot of books and like through a lot of material and for some reason like I said I feel like I understand everything so much better the, I guess this is the third time around for most of the stuff. So hopefully um, when I start taking practice tests like I'll see my results and stuff so that'll be cool. But um, if it's working or not and I won't take a practice test until I finish all the books at least once so I think it'll be another week, week and a half so we'll see. Um, but that is pretty much what I've been doing to study for the MCAT. So this is kind of like a be motivated slash how I'm studying for the MCAT video. I always like say such random things in my video. I never know what to title them. But yeah, <laughs> so I just wanted to give you guys an update. And um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys are studying for the MCAT, for the LSAT, for the DAT, for any of those tests, good luck. Um, let me know what's going in the comments below. And um, you can do it. It's really hard. It's really tiring. Um, it sucks studying over the summer, but um, once again, it'll be worth it in the end. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. Bye, guys.